Hello and welcome to the September 15th episode of This Week in Kirkland, the official podcast of the city of Kirkland, bringing you timely topics and noteworthy news delivered to you every week. I'm your host, David Wolbrecht, in for Jim Lopez, joined today by two members of the podcast team. Hello, I'm Sue Romero. And I'm Anthony Gerardi. And there's a lot going on. So here's what we're covering this week. Yes, there are a ton of things. So first, we'll have the city council meeting preview. Um, And guess what? Houghton Beach is reopened. Yay, that's done. Uh, Groundbreaking for the 85th Street Interchange Project. Mm -hmm. We'll give you an update on that. And September is National Preparedness Month. Mm -hmm. Also, next week is Pollution Prevention Week. Hey, hey. Uh, the Economic Development Community Survey is coming up, and we are doing a Halloween costume swap yes. here Favorite. at City Hall. So excited. Also, our planning and building department is hiring. Uh, we have a bunch of other upcoming events and how to use roundabouts. Mm-hmm. In case big you didn't important. Know. But important first, skill. our big story of the week, which is really just a big thank you. A humongous thank you. Yes, we had two very successful events this past week, our City Hall for All event and C-Spot Splash, Mm -hmm. and we just want to send out an enormous thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, A lot of gratitude. Uh, So, to our over 3,000 community members, (laughs) local businesses, visitors, and everyone who turned out for this year's City Hall for All extravaganza. They did a bunch of stuff when they came to visit our city hall. They met city council members. They learned about our city programs right from the staff. They got to take tours of city hall, Mm, support mm -hmm. businesses at this cool pop-up market that we had. And who didn't want to climb inside some city fire trucks? Trucks, trucks, trucks. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I mean, we also debuted that's this right. week in Kirkland. Yeah, the podcast. that's right. Yeah. This, us. Yeah, <laughs> this one right here. Yeah, yeah, Sue, Jim, and I were out. We were interviewing our council members. Some you of our spoke for like, what, five hours? Yeah. I don't know We how, talked all yeah. day. How's your voice? <laughs> no, but, yeah, you know, uh, tea, some, it's helping <laughs> yeah. some lozenges, uh-huh. helping bring it back. The but. pony, a little horse? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, See we myself should have out. ponies next year for City Hall for All. Thank you, Anthony. Anyway, thank you so much for everyone who came out. It was a lot of fun, and you know we look forward to seeing you next year. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. And also, uh, we also had uh, dogs out in full force. Dogs, and- dogs, dogs, dogs. <laughs> Lots of dogs. <laughs> it was certainly the dog days of summer. Uh, yeah. We had Sea Spot Splash, nearly 400 dogs, and about 1,000 humans came for our third annual event at the Peter Kirk Pool. Oh, so much fun. The photos looked amazing. Yeah, I love the ones of the airborne dogs, you know, <laughs> yeah. and then the splash action. Those are my favorite. Splash action dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so there were uh, about 300 s- recycled tennis balls that was the key to some off-leash fun at Lee Johnson Park. That, that must a- have been crazy town. I, I think so. And so <laughs> dogs got to dry off, run around. There were also dog-related vendors. And before the event, which I didn't know happened until we got updated afterwards, but some shelters, shelter oh. dogs from local rescues like Homeward Pet and Seattle Humane, they got time in the pool before oh. everything started. So that was very sweet. Oh, I bet that was really great for them. Yeah. Oh, so such a fun event, mm-hmm. such a great weekend. Thank you all so much. It's things like that that really make Kirkland shine. And it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. Yeah, Couldn't ask for Only more. got a few of them left before we have to you know, huddle back under <laughs> for the rain. Don't say that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, uh, we also are coming up on a council meeting this coming Tuesday, September 19th. Mm-hmm. So for the business agenda, which starts at 730 there will be a public hearing on a resolution in support of the parks proposition one. We'll also uh, they'll also hear a special presentation from the Association of Washington Cities. Mm-hmm. And council will also decide on whether to authorize the addition of two new full time employee positions as over hires. One will ensure a smooth transition for the pedestrian and bicycle safety priority projects identified for the Transportation Benefit District Mm -hmm. when the current staff member retires. Uh, And the second is to support a transition in the Finance and Administration Department. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. Uh, At 5.30 for the study session, there will be an update on the diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging five-year roadmap. Mm -hmm. And then a briefing on the Transportation Master Plan. And remember, you can always watch on our city's Facebook page, the YouTube channel, or on our city website. Site links will be in the show description. That's right. Well, as Sue mentioned, Houghton Beach is reopened for swimming. Hey. Woohoo! <laughs> Today. Uh, hopefully, this will be the last <laughs> update we'll have to give you on the Houghton Beach for 2023. But uh, at the recommendation of Public Health, Seattle King County, uh, the beach as of Wednesday is open again for water activities. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, she won't act up again later yes. this 
week, next week. Um, next thing we got going on, we had a groundbreaking at 85th Street, the Interchange Project. So this happened earlier this week on Tuesday. Elected officials from Kirkland and around the Puget Sound region broke ground at Lee Johnson Chevrolet on Northeast 85th Street, that project. It will be a major regional transit hub and include a bus rapid transit station and expanded access to express toll lanes. Uh, the new interchange will have three levels, mm-hmm. top level for freeway and the bottom and middle levels for walking, biking and drop offs. Uh, and that's scheduled to be completed around 2027. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't know if you all, have you seen the animations? Like Sound Transit and Washtop put Mm-mm. together a little animation of how it's going to work. This thing is like the interchange of the future. I'm a sucker for a good animation. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, we should track it down. We can track it down and throw it in the show notes. Uh, extra credit for us. But When you were it, describing it, for some reason it made me think of... Like baked goods, you know how there's layers in biscuits. <laughs> we and are. We like, should make that metaphor into an infographic. <laughs> mm. I, well, so, so the top layer, yeah, yeah. The, is the, the freeways. The, the crumbly cookies on mm-hmm. the bottom are the local traffic going in and out of <laughs> exactly. Kirkland and Redmond. Okay, yeah. so hear me out. For the Totem Lake Connector Bridge, we had a Lego project that was built, you know, to celebrate yeah. it. I uh, like where this is going. We have a cake. Yes. For this project, a cake. layer cake, a mm-hmm. layer cake. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pitch it to Washdot. <laughs> I don't know where, if we'll get some traction, but... The Great Kirkland Bake Off, we'll call it. <laughs> right. I love it. We okay. Big enough oven. Also. Well, in other news, uh, September is National Preparedness Month. So to raise awareness about the importance of preparing for disasters and emergencies that could happen at any time. So Kirkland's Office of Emergency Management, they have a series of videos to help keep you and your family safe. And so... Um, we're talking, you can't see the video because we're telling you about it, but in a nutshell, there's like three things you should keep in mind. Got to make a plan. Who's involved? Your mom, your dad, your kids, the dog. Number two, build a kit. Two weeks of supplies, including food, water, shelter, first aid stuff. And then the third thing is to be in the know. Be aware of potential risks around your home or where those fault lines are. So I, you're ready. I need to get readier. I know, right? Do you have your go bag? I I do, but I feel like my well, I feel like my go bag is my camping overflow bag. Hey, (laughs) whatever works. It's got like yeah, my my meals that are ready to eat and like all that stuff. Coleman stove, exactly. That's really smart. Yeah, I actually I did see. I I saw my like I have a backpack that I keep packed, Mm -hmm. and I saw it in the closet today. I was like, oh, there's that thing. I wonder how old that is. (laughs) Like. Yeah, well, look at the expiration date of the food before you just bust it out. <laughs> exactly. But. A lot of good info on those videos, though. Carly and our uh, OEM team do a great job on those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, including Anthony on our video. Team. <laughs> I'm right. Plug myself. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I'm gonna. <laughs> anyway, uh, we in addition to uh, Prevention Month, it's also Pollution Prevention Week mm. next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so our Public Works team is getting ready for Pollution Prevention Week. Uh, coming up September 18th through 22nd. So a division of Public Works, Storm and Surface Water Peeps, they have a storm drain marking competition. Yes, yeah, so these are those little like like oval, you know, sticker. I don't mm-hmm. know, they're not stickers. They're like mm-hmm. tiles that yeah. are like sealed on yes. n- near the storm drains. Yes. Uh, well, Kirkland, we have over 17,000 storm drains That's a lot. in the That's city. A That is a ton. lot. Uh, and so to help prevent pollution and illegal dumping down those drains, they install educational storm drain markers uh-huh. like you were just okay. talking about, David. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Kirkland still has more than 10,000 unmarked drains. So right. the competition, Ooh, uh, the team, competition. yeah, there's mm-hmm. a competition. The team that installs the most storm drain markers during Pollution Prevention Week will receive a special shout out on our social media channels. And Bragging rights. <laughs> yes. Just saying. And uh, you can sign up. In, uh, the link will be in our show notes. Yep. So great. Also, we have our economic development community survey out in the field now. So you can help shape the future of the city's thriving economy by participating in the survey. And your feedback will help us understand the community's priorities, mm-hmm. help find opportunities to support local businesses and entrepreneurs, Very important. and also shape policies that align with our community community values. Mm-hmm. It's a quick five minute confidential survey. Again, find that in the show notes. Mm-hmm. That's right. And now I'm pleased to announce Sue's favorite topic. It's my favorite holiday, my favorite topic, my favorite thing to talk about. Our Halloween costume swap. <laughs> So this means Tell us, Sue. <laughs> you can, here's what happens. You can bring in your old Halloween costumes and accessories for new to you costumes. So Ooh. it's literally a swap. Heck yeah. That's going to be happening um, September 25th to the 29th. So they want you to donate 
gently used, clean costumes, hats, masks, accessories. And this will be at North Kirkland Community Center or right here at City Halls where you can donate. Then on Saturday, September 30th, come and get your new to you costume at the swap event. Okay, so the few days leading up to it, you you donate any leftover things. Mm-hmm. Sue, are do you have stuff you're you're gonna be giving away? Yes. I went through my Halloween bins in the <laughs> garage. On. Was that a plural? plural. Yeah. There was an <laughs> yes. S. You caught that too? I heard okay. it. Yeah, I have a shelf top, you know, it goes from the floor to the ceiling. There's six bins and they're all marked Halloween. <laughs> yes, Sue. You were not kidding. <laughs> One, Favorite holiday. Like a couple are full on costumes, okay. some are accessories and some are like builds that I'm working on. Like, oh, So this have, isn't even just like decorations for, because like no. we have a lot of Halloween decorations, but it's like for outside, you yeah, know? No, this, no is, this is for this is decorating me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that you have a couple bins for in progress Build. Uh-huh. Yes, That's I've amazing. got like okay. you know when I held had to build my Ghostbusters proton pack. Sure, I want to save those extra pieces. <laughs> I mean, right? You never know when it's going to work out for another. Absolutely, it has to light up. Classic. Otherwise, why are you even making it? <laughs> right? What are you doing? Okay, well, if you are enthused about Halloween, perhaps your kids might be. Um, as Sue is, <laughs> please join in our costume swap. Yes. Yeah, you can also volunteer for the event if you're interested. Uh, you can email recycle at kirklandwa.gov. Yeah. And if anyone needs like a full uh, Ghostbusters pajama. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm giving away this one. That's It's like a unicorn, right? It's one of those onesies zip up. Yeah. It's warm. So, oh, okay. And it's adult size. So okay. there you go. All right. Unicorns, <laughs> if you're needing a costume. Love it. Sue's got one for you. Yeah. Uh, in other news, you can join our planning and building team. So we are looking for a program specialist. What do they do? Well, they will handle projects for the planning and building department and development services. They perform complex, high-level, skilled administrative tasks related to land use and building permit processes, and they'll be part of a great team. Yeah, support boards and commissions, including meeting attendance and information packet preparation. And if that sounds like intriguing to you, check out the show notes. Yeah. All right, Sue, Anthony, we've got a ton of upcoming events. Gosh, we Busy do. Time. It's like All a right. whole page here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and then some. All right, what do we got cooking? Juanita Friday Market. Ooh, There's f- only three left. Only three Ooh. left. I know, you better come. Yeah. Fridays through September 29th. It always happens between 3 and 7 at Juanita Beach Park. This week, check out Kirkland's own coffee roaster, Two Sisters Coffee. Mm -hmm. We also have the Health and Wellness Fair coming up. That's this Saturday, September 16th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Juanita High School. Free health screenings, flu shots, other vaccines, dental services, bike helmets, and other Ooh. local services. Awesome. Uh, there's still some time to get in some events for Welcoming Week uh, through the King County Library System uh, through Sunday, September 17th. So books, events, services, learn more about the cultures in our communities. This one is very cool. It's a blood drive, which we, we do, do. Yeah, pretty, every now and yeah. again. Wednesday, September 20th, and Thursday, September 21st, 9 a.m. to 4. You do need an appointment through Blood Works Northwest, and it'll be happening here at Kirkland City Hall, the lower level. But this is the cool part. If you donate blood in September, you can enter to win a trip to Las Vegas for two. Wow. We We give some good prizes away for blood donations. Seriously. I I think that's... I'm... Hang on. Am I reading right here that we could see Katy Perry's... (laughs) Yes. Las Vegas residency That is show. true. You, you do can get tickets. Win so a if, trip. You get the airfare, the hotel, and tickets to see Katy Perry's Las Vegas residency show. So all what? this brought to you by Bloodworks Northwest, an amazing partner in helping save lives mm-hmm. and get you to Vegas. And just give awesome prizes. Yeah, right? I mean, last time it was to, te- to Texas yeah, for, for the South, South by Southwest. Southwest. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's amazing. What I a teenage to... dream. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, we also have the Senior Resource Fair coming up Thursday, September 21st, 10 a.m. to noon. Uh, that'll be at the Peter Kirk Community Center. It's information for adults age 50 plus and their families on health and wellness, legal services, transportation, senior living options, and much more. It is a drop-in event, so no registration required. Uh, more info will be down in the show notes. Yep. Yeah, our ever-popular fall recycling event coming up Saturday, September 23rd, 9 to 3, Uh, As before, it's at Lake Washington Institute of Technology in the South parking lot. If you've been looking to dispose of those hard-to-recycle items, fear not, you have your opportunity. All the details on what to bring and what you've been hanging on to, find in the show notes. Awesome. Cool. 
and Wheels and Reels drive in movie series. <sighs> Yay. I'm excited. Saturdays, I- September 23rd, September 30th, and randomly, November 4th. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Winita Beach Park. The movies start at 7. Registration is required. You have to register your vehicle. It's $20 per vehicle. Hmm. And no limos, RVs, buses, oh. or tailgating or oh, alcohol. Oh, there goes my limo. Yeah. Never mind. I, I know. I, I will show up say, in style. I, well, you can. You still can. Maybe in costume. And take even. up like three spots. It doesn't say no monster trucks. Yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> Anthony pushing the boundaries. So. But you know, we'll we'll modify the show notes for next time. Check on that. I read the fine print. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, this brings us to our last story. How to use roundabouts. Mm-hmm. So Washdot has opened a couple new roundabouts up on 132nd. Uh, it's right around the 405 uh, area as part of that big project. Um, we just wanted to give a couple reminders on how to use them because we don't have a ton in Kirkland. Mm-hmm. We, we have some in our neighborhood streets, but we don't have some for some of our major arterials like this. And so roundabouts help improve traffic flow and safety when used right. And so here are some tips to help drivers use them correctly. Driver, drivers travel counterclockwise. Mm. Never head clockwise. to your right. You're, yeah. you're coming in, and you're going to be driving to your right, no matter what. You can't even turn if you want to go left. I was wondering why all the other cars are driving the wrong way. <laughs> <Strange>. <laughs> yeah. And then also, drivers entering the roundabout have to yield to traffic already in the roundabout. I've seen this so many yeah. times. Like mm-hmm. people are like, "Who gets to go? Me or you?" Yeah, we don't me have a lot you? of them here in the country. We're, we're we're getting them more and more. But so you're coming up to it. Always look left, but you're going to head right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm taking notes. Yep. yep. <laughs> and so traffic in the circle, in the roundabout circle, in the roadway, um, you keep going around until you exit at your desired street. So. Even if you want to turn left, you go all the way three quarters of the way That's around right. and then turn left. No stopping in the roundabout. That's right. And we also, there's a really helpful video from WashDOT on how to drive in a roundabout. Uh, well, we will be sure to put that in the show notes because I need to watch that. You know what I think it is? I think it's because intersections are square. Yes. We're taught to look to the right. And so this one's round. So we still want to look to the right. And you just get mm-hmm. sideswiped. And yield to the... <laughs> Yeah, a yeah. different shape, different look. Yes. Th- maybe we should coin a little phrase. Yeah, so the Circles person to the left, left in the roundabout has the <laughs> has right of the right way. way. That's right. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, they might be a clever way to keep drivers safe, but did you know what? that A, a family of American tourists was once trapped in London's Lambeth Bridge roundabout for more than 14 hours, <laughs> or B... That Malaysia's Puchajawa roundabout is 3.4 kilometers in circumference and is the largest roundabout in the world. Or C, Hmm. the roundabout around the Arc de Triomphe in Paris is the busiest intersection in the world. I mean, I feel like it's I'm a little... In the know here, that was my family in London. It wasn't 14 <laughs> hours, though. But it felt like it. My dad it? got scared and just, you know, he did what you're not supposed to do. He stopped. Well, because you have to drive on the other side of the road right. anyway. It was, and... it was a lot going on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Gosh. It's a lot to... That's double confusion. And the wheels on the other side of the car. I mean, so... <laughs> Oof. Understood, but... Well, in fact, the answer is B, which is very surprising to me. A 3.4 kilometer That's roundabout. Huge. That's huge. How, I mean... How, how long? How big is that? I don't know how big kilometers are, <laughs> Sue, but... How many feet is that? How many okay. feet? Okay, well, uh, go ahead and email in your... No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> it is... It's big. Malaysia's Puchajawa roundabout. Now I want to go there and visit for Absolutely. roundabout tourism. Mm-hmm. Well, don't forget, win a trip to Vegas by donating blood this month. Yeah. And that does it for this week. You've been listening to This Week in Kirkland. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and Share. share. Special thanks to Kate Ryan and Chris Peterson for their behind-the-scenes magic. Thank you, guys. And our next episode is Friday, September 22nd. Until then, stay stay connected, connected, Kirkland. Kirkland.